Hey Wealthy Hustler, I'm going to show you how to implement your CPA Build Content Locker into your landing page. If you don't know how to make a content locker with CPA Build, you can do so by just clicking this link in the top right hand corner. So let's get started. If you guys would like to see some more money making news, reviews, guides and motivation, Go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss anything. All right, so first off, what you want to do is log into CPA Build. And then second of all, you want to go to Content Lockers and then Code for Website. And we're just going to search the name we gave our Content Locker last time. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do that Game Locker that we did, and that's the Fortnite one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search Fortnite and there it is, the Fortnite game locker and generate code. When you generate the code, it's going to, well, generate the code for your content locker. So you're going to scroll down to section two and what you're going to do is you're just going to keep this code here for safekeeping. We're also going to refer to section three. So just keep this tab open because we're going to need this information later. Okay, so now go to Adam.io. And what Adam is, is it's a text editor. And I figured this tutorial would be a lot easier if you all just had Adam and you would be able to follow me step by step. So just go ahead, download Adam and install it like any other application. Once you have Atom installed, it's time to open up your landing page with the Atom text editor. So we're just going to go to wherever our landing page is located. So my landing page is right here, and I'm going to open it up with Atom. And the reason why I love Atom is because it offers a functionality so we can press Control, Alt, and B, and magically, all of this code is easily readable. That's why I wanted everyone to install Atom because a lot of the times HTML will be compressed just like this and it's really hard to read and it's really hard to manipulate the code. And plus Atom really can't tell what the correct format is of, of HTML because as you can see, everything's all green. But if we press Control Alt B again, it's called beautifying the text. Once we have everything all beautified, we're going to press Control F for find. And we're going to type in the less than greater sign. And then we're going to type slash and then head greater than less than sign. So once that's all typed, you're just going to press find. And what this is doing is we told Adam to find the end of the head tag. And the head tag is the beginning of the HTML document. This is the end of the head tag. This is the start of the head tag. And you can also call it a head element. This is a place where you can tell your HTML document to include things. So for this tutorial, we will be putting your script right before the end of the head tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and look at our CPA build information. And on section two, we're going to see the add the following code to the end of your head tag. Okay. So now we copy this code and we're just going to put it right before the end of the head tag. I don't know how many times I can say that. Anyways, now we are ready to go on to section three. And this is the uh, trickier part, but it's not that tricky. So bear with me. What the most important thing is, is the on click attribute. And you might be like, what? Well, essentially, the on click attribute is whenever you click on an element. So, whenever I click on this verify now, I can put what's called an on click attribute and it will open up the script because I clicked on that element. It will call that script. So, in other words, I can just give an element a command and it will open up a script for me. But in order to find that element, what you need to do is search for the exact words that you see in the button that you want to initiate the content locker with. 
So I see verify now. So what do I want to search in Adam? I want to search verify now because I want to find this element here. So I'm going to search verify now. And you can see it found one thing of text called verify now, and that's great. This is exactly where we need to be. However, I do see some things right here that are a little odd to me, but this is great because if it's hard on this tutorial, then it's just going to be easy for you guys when you guys do it on your own. Anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm just essentially organizing my code so it's easily readable. And we can see right here that Verify Now is surrounded in a span tag. Well, span tags, you can't really put an on-click attribute on there. Theoretically, you could, but it's really not known to do that. And if you see that Verify Now or anything is surrounded in a a tag or a button tag, then this is the element that you need to add the on click attribute to. Now I know that sounds confusing, but just bear with me. So we see that verify now is surrounded in an A tag, and A stands for anchor. So this is an anchor tag. And this is all vital information this anchor tag needs. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add one more attribute. So see this ID equals verification button? This actually has two IDs. We can just delete that because you can only have one ID. But you can see that it says ID equals and then class equals. These are attributes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an attribute, and that's the on click attribute. On click equals and then parentheses. And so what we're saying is, hey, whenever I click verify now, because verify now is surrounded in this A tag, I want to open up the content locker script. And in order to do that, we're going to go back to our locker code and see the exact code that it gives us. And we see right here it says button on click click me button. You don't need this button and you don't need this click me because we already have a click me. That's why I made this tutorial is so you can keep the same layout. And I'll show you what I mean by that later. But anyways, we can see on click equals CPA build lock parentheses. And this is the exact code that we need to copy, just the CPA build lock because this is the script. So once we do that, you literally press control save and minimize, and then we're going to go back to our landing page and refresh. And the reason why you have to refresh is because you changed the code and in order for the change to go through, you need to refresh your page. So now once we click verify now, the game content locker pops up. Okay, so now that's all great. I just want to talk to you guys about the button attribute now because this can be very misleading and I want to make this as simple as possible for you guys. So if you don't see verify now wrapped in an A tag like this or an A element like this, chances are you're going to see it wrapped up in a button element. And the button element really it's it's got a different functionality than the A element, but what you want to do is still put that on click attribute within the button element. See, even if I change the A to a button, my layout's not going to matter much because I still have this verification button and Fortnite button class called. And this is the style for this button to have. So when I click restart, refresh again and verify now, it's still the same exact thing. Verify now looks the exact same way. But if you were to follow this step by step and you copied this button, 
and you just replace the old code with yours, watch what's going to happen. Click me looks different. It still works, but it might take down your conversions a little bit. So that's why I really wanted to emphasize the on click attribute. Just remember the on click attribute is just another attribute that you add to your element. You probably should keep the same element you have rather than just replace it with CPA builds because it takes all the style away and it really looks fishy to the visitors and may hurt your conversion. Okay, so just a real quick tip for people who don't want their content locker to pop up when you click verify now. You can easily have your content locker pop up right when they go to your landing page if for whatever reason you need that to happen. What you're gonna wanna do is when we implemented our content locker script in the first part of the tutorial, you're gonna search that same exact text. So that end head tag, and you're gonna find that. And just right after this script, you're going to put the CPA build lock script on. And you're gonna save that, and you're gonna go back to your landing page, refresh, and it pops up automatically. I didn't even have to press verify now. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and also make sure that you subscribe for more money-making news, reviews, guides, and motivation. If you need help, please go to wealthyhustler.com forward slash contact, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Until next time, keep hustling and live life on your own terms.